David Cameron announcing more resources to dealing with the situation in Calais, and he said that nothing is being ruled in taking, uh, ruled out in uh, taking action. He says we're on it. We know it needs more work. The Women's FA Cup final is being played at Wembley for the first time tomorrow. Chelsea face Notts County. You can watch it all live on BBC One and on the BBC Sports website. But we're joined right now by former England goalkeeper Rachel brown Finnis and three fans who will be at the game tomorrow. Rachel O'Sullivan, Miroslava Tolecki and Dion Farns. Thank you very much. Well, Rachel brown Finnis, um, you've played in an FA Cup. How, how much of a moment is it? Where are you? There you are. <laughs> how much of a moment is it that the FA Cup final is being played at Wembley now? Well, as you said, I played in the FA Cup final last year and it was MK Dons. And uh, however much of a privilege and honour it is to play in an FA Cup final, playing it at Wembley, the home of football, is uh, is a whole different ball game. So it's finally here. It's we've finally, as a women's football, been awarded the opportunity to play an FA Cup final at Wembley. So it's a real honour, a real privilege, but something from this Women's World Cup, something that the girls have thoroughly, thoroughly deserved. Well, let's bring in the fans, Dion, Rachel, and Miroslava. Dion, is it a, a big deal? I know you're all going to be going to Wembley. It's going to be a massive opportunity for all the players to really play in front of a huge stadium the huge crowd, huge TV audience. Like Rachel was saying, it's been played at places like MK Dons, Doncaster, but to play at Wembley, hopefully it's not going to be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Hopefully it'll be an annual occasion. Rachel? I agree. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be amazing for the girls, especially after such an amazing summer. Um, hopefully we're going to have big crowds coming to it. I know there's 27,000 tickets or so sold. Um, hopefully we'll get another few coming through the door in the day. And uh, it'll just help to increase the profile of the women's game. Miroslava, the profile has just rocketed, hasn't it? Yeah, the response on social media has been incredible. Um, you can see just in the attendances for the FAWSL that people are getting interested and getting involved. So it's, it's just been phenomenal. Rachel, you said it's been a long time coming. I mean, 20, 27,000 tickets already sold. How different is it from when you were first playing? Well, I first played in the FA Cup final when I was just 15, back in 1996, and it was very, very different. Um, crowds are different, the crowds are multiplied, people are more aware of women's football. The media coverage, TV, radio, papers, social media have all had a hand in improving the profile of women's sport. Um, but main thing has been that the women's team England women's football team has got a lot better and the investment from the FA has allowed that to happen and the continuation of the WSL um, improving, becoming a fully professional league this, ta this year for the first time ever is always going to improve the standard of women's football. Improving the standard, improved coverage equals people understanding more about the game, appreciating more about the game and seeing how much pride these girls wear their shirts with. Is there still a way to go though before women's football is seen as being on a par with men's football? Well if you compare the two, men's football has been under the FA for over 150 years, women's football has only been under the FA for just over 20 years. So we're playing a lot of catch up but I don't like to compare the two. Um, Women's football has made huge strides over the last 20 years to be where it is now and to be appreciated for its own game and its own respect. Uh, and I think that's the way forward, continuing with that appreciation for the game, for the skill, the technicality, the, uh, the understanding. Every aspect of the women's game should be appreciated in its own right, not just compared to men's football. Well, what do you three think about uh, perception of women's versus men's football? Do you see a distinction? No, I, you should treat it like its own sport. You don't mm. compare Serena Williams to Roger Federer. You don't compare Jessica Ellis to Usain Bolt. You should just treat it as own sport. Enjoy it, simple as that. The one thing I like about um, women's football is there's no like showboating. If you get, if you get tackled, you fall over, you get up, you continue playing, whereas the men kind of roll and roll and roll until a decision's made. <laughs> Maybe it's only a matter of time for that. What do you reckon, <laughs> Rachel? Uh, no, I think, I think, like Dion said, it should be able to stand alone. Um, I think there is distinctions in the game. I know, obviously, it's, it's both football, but people should be able to get behind their team and their country regardless of gender, and they should be able to stand behind Chelsea or Notts County because they're a Chelsea or Notts fan. So, do, you, do we all support one of the teams playing tomorrow? I'm not sure if you do, actually. No. <laughs> well, I, it's Just going to be an amazing occasion, but uh, I'm probably going to have to go for Chelsea, I think. And, and Rachel, who will you be supporting? 
Well, I've been an underdog all my life playing for uh, Everton Football Club and winning the FA Cup against Arsenal a few years ago. So I'm going to go with the underdogs of Notts County. They um, weren't favoured for the league, whereas Chelsea were favoured for the league. But going into this match, I think they've got real heart. Uh, lionesses such as Laura Bassett plays for Notts County. So it'd be a great opportunity to see some of those girls in action. Um, and I'm going to put my money, well, Good. not me metaphorically. We're out, of, we're out of time. Thank you so much, all of you. Enjoy the match yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Just quickly, I can tell you that Beijing have won the Winter Olympics. That announcement just through. There'll be much more on that on the BBC News Channel throughout the day. Goodbye from me. Thank you very much for your company today. Victoria's back on Monday. See you soon. Bye-bye.